the creation itself is inauspicious. How can that be? Creation is fundamental reason for the existence of the universe. How can that be evil? The, way, the reason why it's referred to that as uh, Maya or evil is because yeah. without that temptation of uh, the creative forces, okay, well. the drama cannot happen. Yeah. We won't have a challenge to do. So for us to perform, the stage has to be set. There has to be a script. Who writes the script? You and I. We write our own script. And we perform. Mother witnesses. She doesn't interfere. She doesn't interfere when we do rituals like this. How? Because there are ways in which the emotion, the sura, who are the sura, sura padma, taraga sura, sinurva, these are all asur asuric energy of mighty. We can't comprehend the intensity of those forces. And we need it. And in, in a simpler term, you can say desire is a fundamental. The desire starts all the problems. But desire has to act on something. What, what does desire act on? The ego, that is us, our consciousness. That, has, that is an entity. And for that to be tempted, you need the desire. You need the anger. You need all the karma, krodha, loba, moha, mata, maksharya. All the negative energies have to be present. And those are the asuras. So mother created everything, the devas and asuras. The only purpose being, she wants us to perform. And she wants us to evolve. To do that, we need a challenge. And we create our own challenge, the limits of what we can tolerate. There's a limit to our tolerance. To that extent, that what we can tolerate, she would let us survive. And look at the beautiful concept. You create your uh, karma, you create your karma, and you act out the karma. But the karmic dirt, I use the word dirt, but I can't use any other word. It's a dirt. Impurity. The karmic impurity created by us. And it has to be answered by us. It's a very fair system. Mother doesn't interfere. She observes. But she does give us a great, one great boom, which is perseverance. We are able to persevere. Whatever challenge we have in this life, depends on what you, need, you wanted or what you needed. You created it. But you have to persevere. To that extent, Mother comes as Pratyankara, one of the highest deity, very high, these are all very high vibratory energy. Mahakali, Pratyankara, Mahalakshmi, all these are high vibratory energy. That's all again, high, high, vibra high vibration. <coughs> trillion, trillion, like more than humans can generate, or even Asuras can generate. But we need it to perform so we can get strengthened and we can get purified. Purity, ultimately, that's all it means. Can be purified, whatever karma we created. And that's also created by us. There's a limit to our tolerance. She'll only give you your limit, our limit. She won't give something which is beyond our limit. You may think it is, that sometimes we all think end of the world, we cannot manage, we would rather leave and go. People try to think of suicide. suicide. But look at the futility of that. Suicide from what? You are created, you are the energy. Where do you run? Where would you run? There's no other place. You have to exist here and act out your karmic impurity which you created. In this world, we cannot escape. There's no other world. Any other world is created by her. It could be trillion worlds, but it will be created by her for us, to the limit we can tolerate. It's a beautiful concept. No other uh, tradition goes to that depth 
of understanding. Uh, and the desire is fundamental. Anger goes with that, greed goes with that, all the karma, krodha, loba, mosha, madha, maksharya. Our, our path has researched it, every little thing. And then they, they are given as shastras. Here it is, this is what it is. You got dirt, you got impurity created by you. You want to be with the purity, which is mother, you have to clean. Otherwise, those divine entities, this place is full of them, when they come into us, they won't feel comfortable. I gave you some example, personal example, of little things I did, and it's, it's considered as dirt. And watch that deity, that Devi said, you can do whatever you want. We won't judge you. But don't invite us. Don't expect us to come and stay with you and grow with you. Because our nature is light. Our nature is purity. And it's, 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 uh, it, it is not compatible. Light and dark, dirt and purity, they're not compatible. One exists, the other one has to go. So she has created, who has created? We, with her instruction. We have created the whole drama, whole script, and we chose the family. I chose him to be my father. I come into his family so that my drama can be fulfilled. The time, everything is chosen by me. The family, the time, everything. The timing is everything. And then I perform. And then I purify time after time after time, depending on what I created. Ultimately, Mother said, you'll all come back to me. You don't have to worry about time limit. It is eternity. Eternity means there is no limit. There is no beginning or the end. So don't worry. You just take your time, but purify so that I can exist with peace and happiness. That's what you want. So you create the environment so I can stay there and enjoy you and you enjoy me. So we become one. It's a, it's a beautiful concept. Very, very powerful. Uh, and very meaningful. See, none of the things I said, anything untrue, anything illogical, no, everything is pure logic. So you, we, we created script. How many scripts you must have created in Gauri Kun? I may go back again. The last time I think about one particular uh, temple where one deity is there. I didn't have the time to go to her to show my respect. This time I have to go there to Kedarnatha. It's close by. So I'll go and show respect. Do they need us? And what do they need us for? Because they are the much, they are trillion times as powerful energy than we are. And they exist as energy and they create uh, the state and act out our desires. That becomes story of the universe, story of the world. But she helps us. That's what she says. It's a card game. You dealt the card, you play the card. You cannot change it. Because so the minute you're gone, the card is dead. And you dealt the card. But I will help you to play the card. The secret is the card player, he decides everything. I may have the same card as uh, Dr. Raya, but he may do it much better than me. And that doing is what makes him him and makes me me. So it's, it's a very beautiful concept. So she said, I will let you play it well. And that's the great, that's what we call grace. The word for that divine grace. Today, she would have given us all great deal of divine grace. And the medium used was Kartikeya. Kartikeya's commander, he was produced by the intense tejas of uh, Shiva when uh, all the devas <coughs> wanted him to destroy. Sura Padman, Tarava Sura Simha Mohan, the mighty being, he cannot comprehend what they can do. He, he cannot even comprehend the amount of uh, terror they can create, the amount of uh, uh, changes in their survival of life form, any life form, human so on. Every life form goes through. Every life form has a own astrological chart. Depending on what it had done, it would perform. 
and they tell us, son, ultimately we'll all go back. And then she said, don't rush, time is, I give you the time. It's eternity. All the hours, days, years are within the planetary thing. Once we leave this, time doesn't have any meaning. We create our own time. What we need, she will grant you. And she will let us act out. What a beautiful concept. And, and we, we, we do that. So you cannot blame God did it. No, she doesn't. She just observes. But she has given the greatest boom, the perseverance. Patiyankara Devi is the deity in charge. She gave him, she gave Mahavishnu, Mahavishnu that perseverance. When he could not control himself after he consumed Karnayakasipu's blood, he consumed all his blood. So all evil was in him. So he went out of control. He could not control himself. And the whole universe was shaking. And all the deities, including Ganesha, Kartikeya, everyone went to ask Mahavishnu, please stop this, because you are a sustainer. You are the sustaining force in the universe. When you go out of control, what, how can this all exist? The whole drama cannot exist. And then the mythology is uh, Patiyankara Devi and the Surani Durga is one aspect of Durga. They come and love uh, Mahavishnu and tell them, you are the sustainer. You cannot be this. So control yourself. I, you took that blood, you consumed the blood for a good reason, to protect good against you, Kahalata represents good. But you cannot go out of control. You have The story has to go on. The script has to go. So uh, the creation and the maintenance has to go through. So you just control yourself and uh, don't let the world be destroyed. Then the drama ends in the beginning itself. So that's the story of the theater. So she is here. She's connected to Kartikeya. We do Kartikeya function. I, I, I invoke her, Pratyankara Devi. We will have a Sanidhan for Pratyankara. Wonderful Sanidhan we'll have inside. We have 33, 33 Sanidhan she is giving them. My wonderful ones, many of them you haven't even heard of. But they are all needed for us. To, these are all, you look at it as freeways. Many, many freeways she creates and gives the general. So we travel those three ways and reach the ultimate aim, the journey's end, is be one with her. That's the journey's end. Also remember, don't keep on waiting for the end. The end will come. Enjoy every, every second. That's what Mother always says. Anything, enjoy. Don't waste it. I have given you the eternity. So enjoy it. However bad it is, you are responsible for that. Understand that, that wisdom. That wisdom comes from Chit Shakti. That Shakti is Kartikeya. Comes from Shiva. In his deepest uh, meditation, the Chit Shakti comes out. And that is Kartikeya. And he's, that's why he, he, he knows more than anyone. Because he is the origin of Chit Shakti. So he would know everything. That's the reason why even Shiva listens to him. Logical, I don't know if it happened that way. Can something be there without Shiva knowing? I don't know. But mythologically, he was the only one who knew. That's why he's called Swaminath. He gave. Even Brahma did not know. Brahma did not know that uh, answer he was expecting. That's why mythology is, he understood him. He said, You're not worthy of a creator because he did not know that secret. And he gave it to Shiva. So mythologically, so much Kanda, the creation, he sits, uh, Shiva sits as a, as, a, as a disciple, and he tells the secret of what? Pranava. The secret of Pranava is all he expects as an as a answer. And he did not, Brahma could not, because Brahma is creative, so he knew only after the creation that aspect he knows. He doesn't know why the creation itself took, plan, took place. And you have to know that, and then you, you create the story. So that secret, he did not know. So Maitali says, he arrested me, he said, you are not worthy of being a creator. 
but he was. He was good in whatever he could. But this secret, this level of understanding, the depth, he did not know. Because no one told him, because he was the first creator. No one told him, so he did not know. Ultimately, but all this mythology have a meaning. Did they really happen like that? Could, could the Shiva, who was a creator, could not have known this Brahma could So all mythology, mythology has a meaning. You take the positive aspect of it and grow. And uh, our Shastras has given us all the explanation. There's nothing is not there. They have given every possible combination, complications, and all. And to, to make humans and any life form, any, anything else is less than human, to understand the reason for all of this. Ultimately, you have to grow up, your consciousness has to grow up. From one cell, we came all the way to this ten trillion. Do you know that? We have ten trillion. Ours only two trillion. That's of its side. Passengers. We carry them. That many we carry. Ten trillion. But two are ours. But Kali Yuga comes. Look how easily they control us. That small virus. How it changed the whole pattern. The whole life has changed. You survive. The human beings are very good in adapting and surviving anything. Look how in the past two years, whole thing has changed completely. Those small ones, they're not even cells, they're less than cells. They change the whole thing. And you have to abide by what they expect us to do. And is a story war? I don't think so. Even the small story of the viruses, COVID is not war. It started now, two years ago. They'll go on for a few more years and they'll something else will come. So the next 150,000 years, the Kali Yuga will be one after another. We haven't even thought about the, uh, the meteor. There's 10,000 of them going around the earth. 10,000 of them in this minute. And they're so close, we don't have time warning. When it comes towards earth, there's no, no time for us to prepare and it'll hit and be almost instantaneous. So we have many, many enemies, psychic enemies, planetary enemies. Ultimately, it's the cosmic enemies. And they exist in that form, by Asura. And they have to be controlled. And Kartikeya shows us the way. So on this day, of course, you think of Kartikeya worship. But think of others who assisted him on this day, on this time, to fight. Anyway, the main ones would be Arunagri and other would be one. Think of him, you know him. You sing the song, uh, a wonderful song, you know. Almost, uh, how long ago? Arunagri and other, 500 years ago. Nakira, 2000 years ago. All the ancients, and they, they've given us all the stories for us to contemplate. So on this day, think of Agastya Muni, Agastya Bhagavan, I call it Bhagavan. Agastya Muni, think of on this day. Veera Bhadra, all those associates who helped Kartikeya, assistant Kartikeya, you think of them, Bhogar Tindra. Because these intermediaries are the most important. Because to them, you perceive them. So on this day, you think of all these members, all these participants. Thank you.